this is a good video because this brings uh, a word uh, or the main word, which is to distinguish into subject matter that is so um, so focused on, especially amongst uh, patriot groups, um, because of course they're dealing with everything to do with the birth registry and the name and what they bear and they're trying to gain rights of some sort. So we're dealing with the word to, the words to distinguish, okay? So I'm reading out of Samuel Johnson's dictionary in the D section, but they will many times put a word in front of the main word uh, just to give you a more strong or con uh, concise meaning. So when we look at uh, to distinguish, it starts off to note by the diversity of things, to separate by some mark of honor or preference, to divide by proper notes of diversity, to know one from another by any note of difference, to discern critically, to judge, to constitute difference, to specificate, to make known or eminent, to distinguish uh, as a verb, to make distinction, capable of being distinguished, worthy of note, worthy of regard. So when we're looking at this word, um, we can see certain things coming into light here. Um, when we go to Samuel Johnson's dictionary, 1755, and just deal with the word uh, Christian name, it says the name given at the font or baptism, distinct from the gentilidious name or surname. So it's actually showing that there's a distinction because of it telling you or trying to define the word Christian name. So when we're looking at this, we can see the reference of how this would work with how the legal state is being ultra safe in not crossing quite the line, um, dealing with how they operate what is title. So when they're dealing with it, the name that's always going to appear on the docket is going to be, of course, now we're just using John Doe as a reference here, but it says Doe comma John. And as, as I've stated in previous videos, they didn't run out of ink. They could have clearly put last name or surname Doe and then given name John, but they didn't do that. Therefore, they were deliberately not trying to distinguish the two because there is a problem going on in jurisdiction or in the power and authority of these two names because they are separated and distinct in their uh, beginning direction as would have been filled out on a birth record at the hospital with the parents because clearly they would have had the surname separated from the given name or what we would call your God-given, your Christian name. So is this a deliberate act uh, to not distinguish them? Well, the closest they could get would be to put a comma there. Um, that was as close as they could get in a version on title so they could work with that. So when people are really coming in to the courtroom, they're not coming in really as given name, say John, and last name Doe. They're coming in being or acting as a surety for a title under a license that is a version of the name, but really not distinguished or separated. So it is quite unique that it's done in this manner. And now you can understand how important understanding these words are so that you can distinguish truth from fiction.